to top of the morning to you. The, the dawn, dawn is, is coming. coming. Welcome back, everybody. It's me, your boy. I'm feeling a little bit sick here. An extravagant day, though. So look, uh, let me put it this way. If Mojang Developer's main job was exceeding all of my expectations, breaking them constantly, amazing me 24-7, <laughs> they, they, they are doing very well at their jobs. It's only January 5th, and it's already a beta breakdown day. Minecraft Bedrock Beta 1.18.10.26 drops today, and it's big, and it makes frogs, like, way more interesting than I would have ever thought. I mean, I mean, look, the frogs are great. I love everything about them. The animations, they're brand new sounds that we're gonna check out today. I, I love everything about them but I, in zero realities uh, would I have ever thought that they would be this useful frogs are gonna be really really useful and really interesting to farm too we'll talk about it all here today if you enjoy the beta breakdown leave a like and if you're new here consider subscribing so I'd like to start here by saying January 5th 2022 like beginning of the year I don't know if the developers have ever resumed uh, betas and, and things like betas so soon like we're literally in the beginning of the year uh, anyways, in today's beta, we have a couple new things. We have some new frog stuff, we have even more new frog stuff, we have a frog change, and then we have some nice parody changes too, and maybe one of the best bug fixes of all time. Alright, but, uh, listen, listen, we, we have to start here. So, we have a frog right here. <laughs> uh, we have a frog right there. Uh-huh. Assertifiably, for sure. Like, close your eyes, close your eyes, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so guess what this mob is, with your eyes closed. No mistaking it, no mistaking it, hands down. It's like, like a million frogs in here. <laughs> it's so, it's so nice, the, the sound adds so much to the frog. Now, I can't tell, like looking at this frog, was the texture changed a little bit? Like, were those lighter pixels, pixels always there? Uh, I, I'm not too sure, but the, but the sounds, the sounds, they sound so amazing. Frog panic speed is now also appropriate, so I feel really bad about this, but panic speed. <laughs> Look at the frog like running around. I think that's the fastest I've ever seen a frog move. These things are like insanely slow, I've noticed, like walking around on land. Look at that thing. Might as well be a turtle, but like this thing, like, geez, gosh, like, that's quick. That's a fast boy right there, for sure. The frog sounds I can see it now, like going through a new swamp with these sounds in the background, just atmospheric for sure, with the fireflies too and everything like that. Uh, fireflies aren't here yet, but like the frog sounds, it's already like increasing, enhancing the atmosphere so much. And look at that thing. They swim so fastly. Uh, what was I even saying about them being slow? They're like, <laughs> as soon as the frogs hit the water, being slow is something they have no clue about. They're really quick in the water. Tadpole, the or tadpole on land. This is not good. So now tadpoles have a panic goal. I, I think this panic goal is going to mean that they're going to try and uh, basically like pathfind over to the water. M maybe? Uh, debatable. Uh, my guy didn't make it there. Uh, maybe this one will do it. Uh, you get some, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it. Maybe that's what the panic goal is. Uh, the change log just says panic goal. I, I would assume the goal when, when they're panicking on land would be to get to water, right? Uh, I mean, it works half of the time so far. <laughs> I'm not, uh, a little over half of the time. Maybe that's the pinnacle. So tadpoles now have a pinnacle that is maybe going to save their lives. D debatable. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. The frog egg, this stuff right here. Apparently, in the, in the previous beta, you could put glow lichen on the frog egg. Sounds really, really cool, but unfortunately, uh, not something I'm ever going to be able to experience because it's gone. You can no longer put glow lichen on the frog egg. This makes the glow lichen frog egg community very sad. The community is going to soon die out. Before we talk about the big thing with the frogs, let's talk about a bug, because this bug is gigantic. If you play Minecraft Bedrock Edition and you do anything with entities, mobs, things like that, uh, then, then there's a good chance you might have experienced this bug. The bug's formal name is MCPE144208. The bug has to do with entities not properly saving when you exit the world. So basically, let's say we had a villager farm set up over here. Uh, I didn't chunk align it properly. Uh, then I, I left the world, I came back, these four villagers, some of them might have just completely disappeared. Where did they go? No clue, but, but they're certifiably ju just gone. They're definitely disappeared, and there would be no way to get them back. That bug has apparently been fixed. Be careful here, though. Before we declare this bug gone for good, maybe be a little bit careful. Uh, sliding into a world, setting up something insanely advanced that you really care about today is uh, maybe not the best idea. Uh, maybe give it a little bit of time to actually confirm if the bug is indeed gone. But apparently it's gone, which is huge. 
Back to the frogs. So I'm in shock still. I'm actually really thoroughly shocked that a, an actual beta with big things inside of it has dropped so early in the year. With that being said, uh, yesterday I made this really interesting frog video where I was like basically testing out frog farms. You'll see it later, but the original plan was to drop that video today. Uh, today, <laughs> the, yeah, the video is not exactly going to drop. Uh, in that video, I was talking a little bit about what could the frog do. Uh, my big thing, my, my big guess for a while since the reveal has been potions. Maybe they would have something to do with potions. Well, today... That whole potion thing and a piece of my video has been completely invalidated because, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, potions are really cool, but check this out. So we have a frog in here, it makes noises, it's amazing. Uh, then we have a magma cube, a small one. Watch what happens here. It eats it, and then it spits something out. So basically, the frog consumed the magma cube, like, like ate it, and then spit it back out. And this time, this has been spit out as verdant, verdant, frog light. We'll call it green frog light. Frog light is a brand new block added to the game in this week's beta. And this is amazing. Look at how aesthetic this stuff looks. This is going to be so, so good. Medieval block palettes, it could work. Uh, modern block palettes, definitely, absolutely, it could work. And look closely. Do you notice anything about the Tower of Frog Light? The Tower of Frog Light not only is green and it looks great, there's rotation. That block is not going the same way. So check this out. Uh, right there. Uh, then we go over here and place it there. It rotates. You can rotate this lighting. It's rotatable lighting. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I don't. It doesn't really make it more useful. Maybe not. But like rotatable blocks, we love them. Actually, correction. In my unwellness, I've gone crazy. Of course, it makes it more useful. Look at this. The, the log is rotatable, and it makes it way more useful for building. Rotate this thing. It's more useful for building. A rotatable light source that comes from the frog in such a unique way. I would have never seen this coming at all and uh, to be honest I don't know if anyone would have seen this coming so check this out we'll do it again we have a frog right there the small magma cube very important eats it spits that back out and then we have a frog light right there now let's say we had a bigger magma cube the medium one right there not gonna work medium magma cube is way too big it's kind of like with the slime you need a small version of the mob so if we go ahead and just split this thing up a little bit uh, there we go the frog is gonna pathfind over here and let's see will it take them all out one by one by one or is it going to take a break? So what are you doing? Which one are you going for? That one? Okay, cool. Uh, clean the rest up. Let's go. Um, oh, wow. Yep, yep. It'll just keep going. It, it'll just clean them all up right away. That is really, really cool. Now, uh, take note of this. So we have this verdant frog light, verdant frog light, whatever, uh, and the green frog. Okay? All right, let's go somewhere else. Let's go right over here into the plains biome because orange frog very very cool very nice and orange That's way too big, but how about a smaller one? Uh, how about a smaller one? How about a smaller one sooner or later? We'll get the small one uh, Yes, definitely a small one right there. Look at this Ochre frog light ochre frog light. I like that color. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's a bad pun I'm gonna say it anyways, and there's nothing you can do about it. You have to deal with it. So check that out. Look at this frog light right there. I like the yellow one, to be honest. Maybe a little bit more than green. I, I do like the green, though. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I like them all. They're really cool. Uh, also rotatable, so pretty nice. Uh, gonna be useful for building. And the texture. It's a really, really unique texture. So basically, what's going on here is we have a uh, frog light that corresponds to the color of the frog that it comes from. So the orange frog, of course, is gonna make yellowy, orangey frog light. The green frog... Of course, it would only make sense. The green frog must create green light. What about the white frog? I mean, I don't know. I haven't tested this out, but I would say the beach is pretty warm, right? Uh, I guess not warm enough. Uh, onwards to a warmer place. Finally, I've done it. After flying for thousands and thousands of blocks, a warm biome at long last. So we have the white frog right there. Then we have a small magma cube right there. Small magma cube right here. I'll go ahead and eat it. And then check this out. We actually have the pearlescent moon block right here. It's a beautiful purple color. And it's great. Three brand new light blocks have been added in this week's beta, and they're tied to the frog, and you get them in an insanely, insanely unique way. I love this. This is so cool. So we have verdant frog light, ochre frog light, and pearlescent frog light right there. This one is uh, a little bit purple. That one is a little bit yellow. This one is a little bit green. It's really cool. Colorful lighting. That's awesome. But big question. How about nighttime? How bright are these blocks actually? Well... They are actually very, very bright. Check this out right there. So we have three of them, yes. But if we had one right there, like that's really, really bright. This is a solid light source. Definitely going to be really useful. 
The first thing that came to mind when I saw these frog light blocks uh, was the sea lantern. I, I feel like they kind of look similar. Uh, let's compare it. Uh, the sea lantern right there lights up that much. The frog light right over there seems to give off pretty much the same amount of light right there. I'll be able to check the numbers once these eventually make it to the Java Edition snapshots, but yeah, uh, it looks pretty similar to me. These blocks are both insanely, insanely bright. Now, uh, the other colors, uh, how do they compare? They're all exactly the same. The only difference here are the colors. The actual light level from each block is the same. But I've got to talk about how you get this block a little bit more. This is really, really interesting. So set up a frog farm somewhere in the overworld. Uh, a video coming later this week on that is pretty cool. Definitely recommend subscribing. You check it out. Uh, but you set the frog farm up. Then I guess the move is probably take the frog and, and move it into the nether. Set it up next to a magma cube farm that you set up in the nether. Uh, maybe at like a, a spawner instead of a bastion. You have the frog there. Uh, you get the small magma cube and then you get the frog light. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, but no matter what, uh, this is going to be a really different farm. Like, these are going to be really, really different blocks to get. Off the top of my head, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't know if I can think of another block in the entire game that you get in a way like this, where you need, like, a specific mob to take on a specific other mob, and then it drops a, a block, like, on its own. If I were to take out the small magma cube, that will never happen at all. Like, the frog is literally the only way you can get this thing. I don't think there's anything else in the game like this at all, like not even remotely, and we love to see it. But when it comes to the frog for today, that's that's basically it. For the frog farm video, definitely remember to subscribe. I'll be dropping that one uh, later this week, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. We'll see. The final big thing that I'd like to give note to in today's beta breakdown is vanilla parody. Check this out. We have a solid handful right here of vanilla parody things. Uh, there's one very, very big one. Uh, then a couple other smaller ones like glow like and lighting, a uh, similar brightness to Java Edition now. Uh, but vanilla parody, that's pretty cool. This one is also somewhat notable. I really wish uh, the developers would be maybe a little bit more detailed here with these change logs. Uh, updated trade tables for butchers, cartographers, librarians, and wandering traders. I'm assuming that means just update them to make them be the same as Java Edition, but I I'm not too sure. I can't confirm it for sure today, but yeah, uh, a little bit more specifics would be top tier. I gotta show one of them off though, and for this one, it needs a little bit of roleplay. That's right, your boy is now, finally, in 2022, years after request, Minecraft Roleplay Channel. Your favorite one too. So check this out, I'm a speedrunner right now, I'm inside of the village. We're gonna take the iron golem out because we need iron. I'm a speedrunner, that's how it works. So, what we're gonna do is move into the village and, you know, start taking the golem out. Oh no, uh, I, I'm doing pretty well, it's taking a long time, but look at this. The golem cracked, so I take a break for a quick second. It, it has cracks on it. That's a brand new thing to Bedrock Edition, at least uh, how I understand it. And we keep taking it out a little bit more. It keeps cracking. Now we can go ahead and speed this process up a little bit with an iron sword. We keep swinging at it and check this out. The iron golem. Oh no, that's so sad. Why would the frog do that? Basically, what's new here is a visual indicator for the iron golem's health amount. So we have the iron golem like this. This is normal looking, same as always. Uh, take it out a little bit, loses a little bit of health. It's going to start cracking. It's pretty cool. Now, uh, we can actually heal the iron golem back up with iron ingot. So check this out. Iron ingot, use it on the iron golem like this, and it's healed up. The frog, disgusting. Stop hitting the iron golem. Why, why would you do that? It doesn't really change much, but it is a nice visual indicator, and I think it's a nice attention to detail, too. That's one of those small features that I feel really adds to the game. It's cool. Bedrock Beta 1.18.26 on January 5th, the 2022. Yes, uh, Happy New Year for sure. This is a great moment. This is great signs. This means 1.19 is definitely underway. Like, for sure, if they can drop this thing, like, right away. I think the developers have been on vacation, so uh, this has probably been sitting, waiting. No Java snapshot today, unfortunately, but probably soon, if I had to guess. Now, next week is Minecraft Now. Minecraft Now is a live stream thing they did last month. I'll probably be dropping a video covering it after. Will there be more 1.19 stuff there? I mean, I would kind of guess uh, that at least the developers will show off the frogs a little bit more, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, in terms of the rest of the changelog, uh, this is what we're looking at right here. I'm going to go ahead and link the changelog uh, down in the description today because I'm not really going in depth over all of these things. Uh, so sorry about that. I woke up today feeling absolutely rancid out, out of me. nowhere too. No clue what's up with that, but uh, hopefully that goes away by tomorrow. A anyways, that's going to do it for today's beta breakdown. Hope you enjoyed it. Patron gang, a patron gang, the best patron gang in the world. Shout out to Seer the Black Swan, Andrew H, and Alan N today. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it.
What do you think about Froglight? Let me know your takes, your thoughts down in the comments below. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, links are in the description. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye everyone.